The main purpose of the presentation was really quite straightforward. It was to get the audience to think about the way they actually handle public notice advertising, to challenge conventions, to get them to actually realise that the changes they can make are fairly straightforward, fairly simple. There will be a modicum of pain while they go through that change process, but the results will be eminently worthwhile. I think looking at the audience and the reaction we had there, that that message got home. I was really pleased with that. The, the event was well organised, well attended, and. I think trying to get people to realise that it's not just about the actual advert, but it's about the totality, how this relates to the newspapers, how it relates to the technology, the kind of stuff that John talked about later on, and give them the whole picture. And from that perspective, I was actually really very pleased with the day. The main thrust of my presentation today was to try and explain to uh, the councils and the public bodies in Wales what we had done in Scotland over the last three or four years, specifically to do with Tell Me and My Job Scotland, and the impact that that's had on the engagement with the citizens in Scotland. What I wanted to follow up and also try and put in context for the delegates today was give them an idea of where the public and private sector are quite similar. The public sector is always thought of as slightly lagging behind the private sector, but the private sector have got very similar requirements, concerns and issues they have to always deal with. And, and that's really why I wanted to go through the first group scenario. first group I've shown in the last three or four years, the move, the shift, even within digital and how that's expanded into a number of kind of sub channels as well to show so I could see so I could show to the, the delegates today that things are changing, things are moving on, but as organisations they can deal with that as well. Technology changes every day, it can be scary, it can be massive, but really the private sector's done it and the public sector has shown to do it very successfully in Scotland and why can't it do that in Wales as well as the private sector has done? The main purpose of my presentation today was to introduce to Welsh colleagues the Scottish Public Information Notices website that has been live since December 2010 and publishes on one website notices that impact on people's lives when roads may be closed, when planning applications go in for new developments, when schools could be affected by um, closures or have serviced interruptions, when elected members' surgeries are available. Basically, it provides a unique one-stop shop that is accessible from a PC or a smartphone um, and delivers to the individual the information that the publishing organisation has promoted. So, for example, on a speed hump traffic order where a council is planning to erect a speed hump, the council will publish both the map for its location, the dates on which the work will be carried out, and if this means that alternative um, vehicle access needs to be maintained, that will also be indicated. The main purpose of the presentation today was to talk through the pilot that we did in Wrexham to talk about what worked, I think worked well and some of the things that we would do differently next time but also to talk about some of the future opportunities that may arise from this when we thought laterally about the whole application of the work we've been doing. From today's seminar there are a couple of key things that stick out for me that, as key messages. This isn't just about better use of money, which is a key part, and it obviously delivered that in so many aspects, things like the uh, My Job Scotland site has saved considerable amounts of money, huge benefits, reason enough to do it on alo alone. Another key area was around things like actually it helps communicate better with citizens. There was so much today about actually let's write in a better way, let's write more clearly, let's get things in a way that people can understand, not use arcane old systems, such a good reason. Another one, actually, this support democracy, an example today of how you, uh, local community councils were downloading the information from Tell Me Scotland and using that as the agenda for their community council meeting. So the bigger council had uploaded this information, the community council sit down saying, this is happening here, let's discuss. Brilliant. It's transferring information to the place where it needs. 
one big final message that came through to me and from John Campbell and what it achieved around Tell Me Scotland and My Job Scotland was that his clear message that the public sector is very capable of delivering fantastic things digitally and it's about having a go, having the confidence, learning lessons from people like what they've done in Scotland and yes it, we are capable of doing it, things don't have to fail, we can achieve these things.